We step back into the Players Lounge here at the American Digital Network to talk some college basketball. The American in the middle of a great NCAA season. And of course, Tulsa is making some waves here in the American Athletic Conference. Their senior forward, Martin Zigbanu, is with me here in the Players Lounge. And Martins, let's jump to Saturday night. You guys win in a buzzer beater against Wichita State, 54 to 51. Kind of walk me through what that was like getting a name, getting a win against a big name brand in college basketball. Um, we know it's going to be a very tough game. Wichita State is a very, really good basketball team. Those guys play really hard. And, you know, we know coming in we would have to play harder too. But, I mean, with the way the game went, it was very exciting, very thrilling. I'm very sure all the fans enjoyed it. But, you know, uh, when they got to that last play right there, you know, it was a two-option play. Either Brandon could have thrown it up. Uh, Throw it over both, um, throw it over the defense to me, or Eli comes back and get the ball. So Eli came back and got the ball, and you know, he just made a play. The guy's been hot all night, and it was only deserving that he was the guy who made that last play to give us that win. And that win pushed you to seven and one in the American Athletic Conference. You guys are on a great streak. What's going right for your team right now? Uh, I think what's going right for us is um, everybody has finally bought in. Uh, we've, you know, we spent a lot of time together. Our chemistry is a lot better. We play better as a team now. We communicate better on the court. And, you know, um, just, you know, guys just getting a lot more confidence. You know, as you win, you gain more confidence. And when you get confidence as a team and not just individual players, that can really take you a lot, uh, a lot of places as a team. What is your role as a senior to help everybody get on the same page and to make sure everyone is going in the right direction? Uh, my role right now as a senior to help everybody get on the same page is, you know, just being in everybody's ear every day. You know, uh, guys have been doing really well, but I cannot get relaxed and, you know, and just feel like they're going to bring it every day. I still got to keep talking to them and letting them understand because, you know, coach said something to us the other day. When you've been doing things right for a while, you can tend to get away from it or not hone on it as you've been doing with a great mental focus and everything. So I think where I come in and that is understanding what coach is saying and being his voice in the locker room. So just making sure guys are on it any time, any day, whether it's weights in the morning at 7.30, whether it's practice in the afternoon or whether it's game time at 6 p.m., like just making sure guys are on, um, on their stuff and making sure they're ready to go. Martins, your team has had multiple players of the week here in the American Athletic Conference, and you've been one of them in this run as well. Does that speak to the talent that you have on this roster, or are those just meaningless accolades that you guys don't think about within the context of a regular season? Uh, I mean, it's kind of both, really, to be honest. You know, those, um, those accolades to us as a team is pretty much – you know, it's really, it's, it really don't mean a lot to us because at the end of the day, if you're not winning, you know, play of the week doesn't do anything. Play of the week doesn't hang banners. Play of the week doesn't bring championships in. So that's not really something we really care too much about. But, you know, it also speaks on the kind of team we have. You know, and that's something we've always said. You know, we, uh, our strength is in our numbers. And it's not just, this is not just a one-guy team. My team doesn't just need me to do something. We don't just need Brandon or Javai or one guy to just, you know, be the man every night. We have guys that can step up. So that's why we always make sure we play as a team and play together. I think that says a lot about Tulsa basketball, too, because, you know, we have different guys that can, you know, lead us in scoring at the night, that can lead us in rebounding at the night. So it's all about just being a team, understanding who the hot guy is, who the hot hand is, and feeding them the ball the whole night, making sure – Whoever got the hot hand gets to um, lead us the way, and we don't have a problem with that. So I think that's a, that's a good thing for Tulsa basketball, I would say. Martins, it isn't exact, but about half the games you've started and about half you've come off the bench. Is there a preference? And for you, is it a different mindset when you're in the starting lineup versus coming off the bench? Uh. It's kind of been a it's kind of been a different uh, mindset now with me coming up the bench. You know, it's all about team and me doing whatever I need to do for my team to be able to win. So, if that means coming up the bench, which I think is even helped me a lot, because I mean, 
I've been able to play more minutes coming off the bench, and I've also been able to play way better coming off the bench. So I think that's my preference right now is coming off the bench. And me and Coach even talked about it, and, you know, we both decided, like, I, I still want to keep coming off the bench. And, you know, if I'm going to come off the bench, I'm going to make sure um, – I'm as good as I can be coming off the bench, even though, I, I mean, being a starter really doesn't really mean much to me right now. It's all about winning. So I think coming off the bench is my preference. And, you know, coming off the bench don't really mean much to me as long as we win. How does a guy from Nigeria end up playing college basketball in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Tell me your story. <laughs> so I left um, I left home and I, I had just turned 15. I think it was like a month after my 15th birthday. Uh, I left home to come to um, the United States of America to go to school and play basketball. I went to a high school in Atlanta for four years, went to Covenant Christian Ministers Academy in Atlanta. Played four years there, had a lot of offers to go, a lot of places, D1. And, you know, Coach Hake was really just that one Division One coach that really stood out to me. And, you know, I could tell how genuine of a person he was, and you know, I decided that's who I wanted to play for, whether it was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or wherever. I didn't really care. I just wanted to play for Coach Hake. So um, with him being in Tulsa, that's really how I got here. You're a three-year letter winner. How do you want to go out this year? And I ask this more personally than maybe team-wise. We know team-wise you'd love to get to the NCAA tournament and reach those goals, but how would yeah. you like to end your college basketball career uh to be honest i i would like to end it any way that ends up with you know me putting a banner in the gym i want to be able to come back and feel my presence that i was i was once here that makes a lot of sense i want people to be able to come in here see that banner and ask who were those guys on that 2019 2020 team so where it really it really doesn't really matter how it ends as long as it ends with, you know, guys making it to the tournament and putting a banner in the gym. He's a team guy, Martin Zigbanu, senior forward for Tulsa basketball. You guys are on a great run. Keep it up, Martin. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we'll catch up with you come conference tournament time. Thanks for joining yes, us sir. in Thank the Players Lounge. All right. Thank you.